I wonder what the barman has to say, if he has anything else to say. Can I ask you some questions? Talk is free, friend. Do you know of any work going? Mm, I've heard Burnin' Burwig's looking for adventurers. Not sure what he's after, but he's the richest man in town. So I dare say it's worth a punt. Go to the Winged Merchants Guild on the main road if you're interested. Okay. Uh, first order of business in the actual town is to try... Oh yeah, that is a Void Spear, huh? Interesting. Uh, first order of business... Oh! When I slept in the bed, this enemy spawned here. That's funny. Gained a throwing knife. Okay, well. Uh, first order of business, I want to go into town here and see if I can't... Uh, find a weapon store because I really want to buy a new weapon that would be great for me lockpick I would also like to buy lockpicks Ooh. this used to be such a quiet place since the apostatic union stepped up its presence here there are guards patrolling the streets night and day it's an apothecary here we go Weepins. Countryside is teeming with goblins and unsavory creatures. Only a fool ventures forth without a sharpened blade. Here at a fair blade, we have plenty for sale, and you can use our crafting station to modify your gear. Let me see what you have for sale. Fine sword, chainmail armor. Uh, we should definitely buy the fine ore. I'm definitely going to buy the chainmail armor. Because it's cheap. Let's exit really quickly. This will turn into a steel sword. That's 10 damage. Swords are reliable all-rounder weapons, rewarding both speed and aggression. The sword, a classic. Can't go wrong with a sword unless they're on the wrong end of it, of course. I want to upgrade to steel sword. Sure. Except. Now, can I upgrade this? I can't. Okay, so this will become a fine sword if we have three of those. Uh, all right. Have you heard of the Umbarian? Heard of her? She's come to this here shop more than once. Scared me witless, I'll say. That stare and that armor. There's something about it. I've been servicing equipment since I was a tyke and I've never seen anything of that craftsmanship. <clears throat> she asked to use the workbench last time. I saw her take off. Oop. If you ask me, the stories are true and she really is 400 years old. After all, those endless live forever, right? Who's to say the Umbarians didn't figure it out too? servicing equipment. She has to use a workbench last time. I saw her take off one of those pauldrons and tinker with it. It was the full of the most intricate machinery and she knew exactly what she was doing. Alright. Farewell. Uh, I switched over to controller really quick because I wanted to see what the controller scheme was like. It's not bad. Ooh, the sensitivity is very high though. Let me put that down to three. No, it's still way too high. Ah, uh, that's too low. Okay, interesting. Is this gonna be better? Yeah, that's more reasonable. I just wanna get my hands off my, uh, desk it makes my uh makes it harder for me to relax my shoulders welcome to the glorious garments i can tell you're a customer of exemplary taste i have a selection of fine attires to choose from if you're interested i can also explain the specifics of tailoring how do i upgrade my clothing first you need to find a crafting station there's one in the weapon shop nearby a fair blade you can use them to modify both metal equipment and clothing most of our wares are made with a thread of a silk slug native to the region it is the most marvelous creature it produces silk of unrivaled strength and durability there's a picture of a silk slug on the wall beside you. If you happen to see one out in the countryside, you should try harvesting its silk. It's quite a messy procedure, though. Make sure you take rags for the excess mucus. Let's see what you have for sale. Glorious silk. Hi. Scruffy cap. Humble cap. Uh, seen all over the Apostatic Union. Ooh, Union furnishings. This contract grants access to apostatic Union furnishings when redecorating a property. 
It is signed by the owner of the Glorious Garments in Hallowtown, who will provide the items. Note that redecorating any property usually costs a small fee. Provide that. I don't really... Let's look. Huh. So is there a benefit to... Like, hats? <laughs> Plate armor... Cross town. I probably should have upgraded this first. That's fine. How do I put my sword away? I'm just trying buttons. Okay, up on the D-pad uses potions. I'm really mad that I just used that. <laughs> I have to actually look up the controls here. Uh, left bumper is sprint. Can I change this? Uh, block is right bumper. Spell, interact. Tap or hold D-pad down. Okay. I do want to... Yeah, it's fine, actually. Okay. This is interesting. Merchant ships have been stopping in Hallow less and less since the famine. We've got less goods to sell and grain is getting more expensive by the day. Red eyes shine from an unwashed face. I didn't even uh, uh, go to talk to her. She just talked to me. Hey, you wouldn't want to help a girl out, would you? What's the problem? She wipes sweat from her brow. I've got to deliver the Beyond Silks to my guy at the Wobbly Noggin, but after lugging these here, my own noggin's not doing too good. She flashes you a smile. I'll make your delivery for a cut of the profit. Her smile fades a little. Of course, that's only fair. You'll get paid. She hands you a wooden box. Crate of silks. Hmm. Just ask around for Bardolph. He's usually in the small room. If he's not got himself kicked out, she winks. I'll just ask a guard if I get lost. You notice a slight frown. Really, there's no need for that. It's the pub with the giant skull just over the bridge. You can't miss it. What happens if I do ask a guard? Let's look, I want to read the description of this item. <laughs> it looks like it has octopuses in it. Girl asks you to carry this crate of beyond silks over to Bardolph and Wobbly Noggin's side room. It seems to shift as you carry it, and strange stench, em stench emanates from within. I keep talking to her. I'm counting on you now. It's actually harder to bunny hop. Hold it. He looks at your box. What you got there? Uh, these are silks from Biona. He chuckles, like I've not heard that one before. You know we've got a real problem with smugglers in Hallow. A lot of illegal goods slipping through the net, so I'll ask again what's in the box. Beyond silks. My friend is a respected tailor, uh, and this delivery is urgent. All right, all right. I just gotta ask is all. Lots of smugglers in Hallow. See, carry on now. I don't care what I'm being paid to do as long as I'm being paid to do it. Side room. Is that up here? Let's ask. Welcome to the Bobby Noggin. If you're in need of a rest, we've beds and ale plenty. I'm looking for someone. And who that might that be? Uh, what do you know of Velicalis? He chuckles. They spelled callus differently here. What kind of innkeep do you take me for? I've heard more stories about Vela than I can recount. Her dark star mercenaries fought in the Slevian Mutiny, the Battle of the Weeping Wizards, and on both sides of the Wiccan Uprising of Hockney. They've taken coin from Reoven counselors and occultist villages alike. He leans on the bar, and when folk ain't been spilling each other's blood, they've gone a plundering and bury in ruins, Wiccan shrines, 
You know, the Tomb of the Deathless Dynast King. That was them that stole his face. He lands in so close you can smell his breath. Some folks say she's a saint. Who's going to right the wrongs of the Union? Others say she's a devil who leaves a path of chaos in her wake. But you know what? Jab the table, eyes wide. She were here once, two years ago, her and her load of crew. They kicked everyone else out. Must have been 50 Assads getting pissed at Skyfish. And I saw that she weren't no saint. She weren't no devil. She were completely shit-faced. He guffaws, wiping a tear from his face. I did warn her about the Typhus Rum. We made more coin that night than most weeks, I reckon. All right, let's uh, ask you some questions. Nope. Very well. Oh, here we go. The side room. Main cracks you a thin yellow smile. Name's Bart Dolph. I don't think I know you, friend, so unless you got business here, I suggest you trot on. I was asked to deliver some peon silks to you. Ah, Inogen's newest recruit, huh? His smile grows, teeth like shattered glass. You should have said. He prizes the box open. A cluster of tentacles bursts forth and he slams it shut again. Ah, fine silks. Fine silks indeed. These will make a lucky noble very comfortable. Glad to be of service. Uh, in uh, Inogen mentioned something about payment. Knowing her, I'd wager she wasn't the first to mention it, huh? Anyway, here's a few coins for your troubles. Look, we're always in need of folk like yourself. If you want more work, head down to the slums, past the docks. Look for a bust of a skeleton in one of those houses. Give it a yank, it'll let you through to the lost purse. Find an in there and she'll have more work for you. Hey! All right, so I guess we just got recruited into the Thieves Guild. If not the Thieves Guild, then some kind of mercenary guild. I don't love, I might switch that. Um, no, it's fine. I don't love that uh, jump is on Y, on North Face button. It's just a little bit annoying. This is a tailor. It's an airship guild. The, f the free merchant society or whatever the air merchants I guess welcome welcome the man flares his nostrils and looks you up and down I'd offer you a seat but these chairs are terribly expensive I presume you're here about the job offering uh, what job is that you mean you simply came to exchange pleasantries he swallows clearly repulsed at the thought I'm here for the job er, <laughs> tell me about yourself myself well I'm sure you already heard a great deal I'm Vernon Berwig the winged merchants guild Peruse the shops in Hallow, and there's not a single potion or herb that has not graced my vessels on its way here. I'm here for the job. Yes, yes, I thought as much. Your attire is certainly suited for the physical labor of the task. He dabs his forehead with a handkerchief, as if thought of your attire is overbearing. The job is to locate my merchant vessel, the Golden Typhus, and retrieve its cargo. It's a magnificent ship, made with the strongest Lundell oak, so I cannot imagine that it could have been shipwrecked. Its captain is none other than Walter Cecil, who has charted many of the apostatic Union's most distant islands and is known for his character. Mutiny, then, is not a possibility. Of course, a course was plotted to the Pagethian ruins south of Hallow. The Typhus should have returned a week ago. I'm beginning to worry. Ship and crew are irrelevant, only the cargo matters. Return it to me and I will reward you handsomely. Tell me about the ship's captain. I hired Walter Cecil for a fee of a small fortune. His exploits have been well documented. It is said that when exploring distant realms, his ship defeated a sky god. But between you and me, it was more likely a very large fish. Nonetheless, he is one of the most reliable captains in the Union. His record is impeccable. What cargo is it carrying? I'm afraid I simply cannot say. You understand that within the machinations of the apostatic Union's legal system, there are certain trade goods that are unfairly scrutinized. Suffice to say, there is nothing dangerous or unwholesome about this cargo, but we should speak of it no further. All right, so I now have to go get some cargo. Some unscrupulous cargo. Or some scrupulous cargo? I don't remember... Which word there is correct? Welcome to the Bubbling Brew. We sell a wide array of useful items from healing potions to alchemy ingredients. There's an alchemy station on the corner. If you possess some alchemical ability to free use, uh, it's free to use and I can assist with the process. I'd like to take a look at your wares. Yes. It's fine. An alchemy station is right here. Okay. Um, I have Pygus. I have Pygus. Create. What happens if I put these two together? Health potion. 
Jitter Seed. Cool. I can use treasures. Interesting. Well, we have a bunch of potions now, which is good. I have to change something. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind. There we go. Okay. Updated the map. Oh wow, this is very fast <laughs> moving. Let me try to update that. Damn fine tea, what is this? Wizard store? I can go upstairs here. Ooh, little lore books, let's read them. World Rend by Joan Toussaint, 1206. The World Rend, though it is long passed into distant memory, it is still spoken of in hushed tones by nervous speakers. For who cannot still dread the cataclysm that leveled our cities, purged our wisdom, and sent us fleeing to the sky? There are none alive who remember stable ground underfoot. Generations have lived and died on these continents adrift, steered by fickle winds. To look below, onto the world's surface, is to witness a seething hell. Few who visit that wasteland return, and those who do are cursed as painful death. And yet, what do we truly know of the world rend? Rumors, hearsay, legend. It is the most important historical event, yet it remains a mystery. The Ambarians, whose civilization reached its peak at the dawn of this terrible new age, stored all their wisdom in a magical cipher. Their technology was made inert by the rend. Everything was lost. We know more about it, uh, or about the kings and queens of the Middle Ages, thanks to their humble quills, than we do the Ambarians. And so, in this age of ignorance, do I strive to collect what fragments of truth I can gleam. My own quill may yet prove a more powerful instrument than a century of Ambarian technology. The world rend occurred in the year 19, uh, 984. That we even still use the old calendar is a miracle of the Kronos Guild, for the slow-turning neuron star of old Wicca, upon which the clocks of old were set, was destroyed in, an, in the event. Most accounts depict the rend as a flash of magical energy. It engulfed the world, searing its surface and destroying every city and every settlement found below. Only those few people survived, outcasts adrift on the islands of the sky. Because the Ambarians shunned the instability of the flying continents, few of their outposts existed here. In a pertinent irony, those who were outcast from Ambarian civilization, the Wiccans and the Endless, to name but two, suddenly outnumbered their old rivals, and thus the last remnants of Ambarian civilization were torn apart by their enemies. But from the ashes, new societies emerged. Survivors banded into groups and rebuilt as best they could. Ambarian technology proved useless, so a new generation of humanity rekindled old knowledge. Houses were raised of brick and stone. Magic spells were relearned with simple cipher. The Wiccans and their gods found power anew, and their covens were built in every city. Now as I write from the thriving realm of Bion, I can't help but smile at our, uh, our accomplishments. But it is a smile tinged with sadness, for we still toil in the shadow of that terrible cataclysm. We still bear the trauma of the world rend. On Wiccan Tyranny by Nelio Conicus, 1436. There was a time before the God War when every human settlement on these flying isles was built around a Wiccan coven. From Vena to Slev, they enforced worship, demanding prayer to their gods, and so those old gods grew in power once more under the flag of Wiccan Tyranny. That the apostatic union succeeded in overthrowing this tyranny and casting down those gods is a miracle worth celebrating. I am old enough to remember Wiccan rule. Every spell, every letter of cipher was controlled by the covens. What magic was permitted changed from realm to realm as each coven's god had its own fickle whims. Not since the Middle Ages when gods ruled supreme has human development been so stunted. And since the Union gained its freedom, look at the advances we have made. Airships soar through the clouds. Lowly scribes cast spells of swiftness and strength. Our cities throb with wealth and progress. No longer must we barter with gods for the merest enchantment. Humanity rules its destiny like the Ambarians of the past. And yet, there are those in our midst who would see it all torn down. Outside Union borders, the Wiccans and their gods are more powerful than ever. Their spies and priests still lurk in every corner of the Union, some even hidden and protected by our own traitorous citizens. And despite these dangers, what do we discuss in our councils? Reform? Softer punishments for god worship? I call this foolishness of the highest regard. Many know of Beatrice Webb. She has made quite a name for herself here in Riova. She attests that her methods are too harsh, that god worship should be punished with a mere fine, and that censure of text should have been ended, bringing about a freedom of the quill. 
I argued that such things would in no uncertain terms bring about the destruction of the apostatic union. It is only by a hair's breadth that we can stay ahead of our many enemies. The Wiccans would see our realms torn apart, our magical progress abolished in the rule of the gods reinstated. Nay, our punishments are not too harsh, they are too soft. I would see Wiccan sympathizers hung before I bow to another god. I am old enough to remember Wiccan tyranny, and I would die before I see it reinstated. Interesting. Ah, welcome to the Emporium of Oddities. We have spells and equipment from the budding adventurer, and you are welcome to peruse books I have lying around. Okay, huh. Bone key. Seek the swamp, it seems to say. Seek the shell that points to the sky. False monster ants. Perverse tangle of cheap silver wires formed into a strange room that fills the enticed with deeper fervor and ferocity for their false cause, driving them to fight with increased attack power. Interesting. Ring of stone skin. Ring increases the wearer's defense. That's valuable to buy. It's cheap, too. Apostatic Union Passport. That's also really useful. Uh, agility is a denim. Gives a master boost agility and prevents death from falling. Nevertheless, this must be used with care. While this spell protects from great falls, it does not prevent tumbling down to the underlands, a fate often considered worse than death. We do want the spells. I do want that. And, uh, yeah, we got, we got a bone key. We're going to be able to do lots of quests now. And I got uh, another ring, which is really helpful. So that's cool. I, I do, I want to understand what clothing, what is a, the benefit of clothing? Just maybe spend our last money on this. I don't have enough. That's fine. We'll just have to get money. <laughs> Oh my god. You've got to be kidding me. Why? It was only a four. God, I suck. That's poop. That leads further down. Another lock pick. I need three might for this. Hmm. Oh my god, I got it. Sick. Oh, and there was a lockpick standing right here. No. Can't get through there. That's interesting. It's all very interesting. I want to go over to the lift over here. Oh, you know what I also want to do is... Uh, oh, I need more spell cast to unlock this slot. Okay. That's fair. Nope. I need lock picks. Man in corner has the most spectacular mustachios. Mustachios? you've ever seen wants to make a walrus weep with envy from beneath them protrudes an indescribable device that might be a distant descendant of a pipe his bearing is stiff dignified even as he sits alone several empty glasses in front of him ah don't be shy he puffs on his pipe dispersing a peculiar odor it's my own invention if you're curious recycles the tobacco juice and vaporizes it back through the system for further consumption 17 times more efficient than a normal pipe this dude invented vaping <laughs> He lets out a wheezing chuckle. Might the saving. Imagine the savings. A single pouch used to last me months in the field. Interesting. In the field, you were a soldier? Ah, certainly not. You think a common soldier could have designed this? He waggles his mechanical pipe. It was a combat engineer, Lieutenant Artificer Drangorg, 17th Grease Guards, building and maintaining engines of war the likes of you could never imagine. What kinds of things, then? Uh, in the God War, you mean? 
course in the God War. You don't need a four-story war engine to hunt poachers who've been taking too many rabbits, do you? No, we built machines to take the fight to the gods themselves, and we won. We saw action at the Battle of the Gates, as well as Black Rust Day. The retreat from Krasnograd, the siege of Arnpur. He sees your eyes glaze over. These are all names to you, aren't they? If that. How about the Battle of Aristide's Rock? You must have heard of that one. Uh, lie, of course. I don't believe I have. Uh, you can bloody well see the damn place from here. It's the Isle to the North past Quill with a busted up engine of war. You can't miss it. War is almost over when we fought there. But that's the one that sticks with me. The one I left behind. Well, he sighs. You want to hear an old soldier's ramblings or not? Please, go on. Well, that war was almost over by the time we got to Aristide's Rock. No place at all, really, but some of them believers fled there with a god. On a god, in fact. And you've never seen a cornered god, have you? He frowns. No. Lucky you. But we had our engine, the one Cornelius and I had been crewing practically since the start of the whole business. He pauses. Wait, did I not mention Cornelius? He was my, uh, my commanding officer. Best there ever was. He had a real connection to the machine. He and I flogged that thing through battle after battle till we knew it almost better than we knew each other. Anyway, the old engineer pauses, lost in thought, and his cheeks redden a little beneath the pendulous mustaches. Excuse me, I lost my train of thought for a moment there. I, you don't need to hear the whole story. It's ancient history and better that way. I came back, most of us didn't, Cornelius and the war machine included. I imagine he's still there somewhere, what's left of him. None of us returned to that place, you see. Even if anyone wanted to return to that cursed rock, you'd need a powerful airship. He sighs. Really, what else is there to say? An embarrassed silence descends, and you get the feeling that this might have been the most Dragon Gorgon has said for some years, and it is all about he's going to be saying for tonight. Goodbye, Lieutenant Artificer. Dragon Gorgon gives a quiet nod and puffs his pipe. They were lovers. They smashed. They knew that machine more than they knew each other's bodies. I should probably go over there. That's a cartographer's little spot. I'm very happy that I have figured out that we can um, do our own alchemy, save ourselves some money in the long run. Scholar seems to be absorbed in their looking glass. They peer through, scribble something in their notebook. They peer again, do not look at you. Traveler, hmm? Apologies, I'm on academy business and this map won't make itself. About these cipher charts, I mean, I have cipher charts to hand in. Excellent, yes, these will do nicely. The detail here is impressive for one of your experience. Please take this. Uh, ask some questions. Oh, he's just still here. Can you tell me about this island? This archipelago is known as the, oh, uh, okay, blah, 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 we've already heard this. All right. So it is the same guy, he just shows up at different spots. Let's look at our quests real quick. Center's hollow clock tower, to the east, a large farmstead, to the west, ruin entwined with a tree, to the south, the point at which the river forks. Flying high. Huge island floats above Hallowshire. You've heard rumors that this is an erudite academy. God hunt. Purge cultists. You have discovered a cultist lair and spoken with the fertile one. To infiltrate it further, you must tribute mushroom. A tribute of mushroom mine must be given. Thornwood Manor. You heard Thornwood Manor, a 200-year-old estate, is up for sale. Apostatic Union Council building. The Imbarian. Endless Duchess. Golden Typhus. Let's see. War stories, Drangorg, Aristide's Rock. Okay, let's do uh, Golden Typhus. Um, and he said it was near the the Pygoth ruin, didn't he? Which was yeah, like right over here, wasn't it? That's yeah, to the north. 
Uh, For a compass, this is not very helpful. We just kind of have to run. Uh -huh. Clockwork Kingdom, Thornwood Manor, Hollow Castle. Oh, perfect. North. Hollow Bell Tower. Sign is old and weathered. Where did he say the Golden Typhus was? I should just keep my eye out for a vessel? I guess so. Thought he said it was near the Pygoth Shrine. Is this not a Pygoth Shrine? Okay, this is a farmstead. We do know we need to go to the largest farmstead. Is that the Pygoth Shrine over there? Oh, wow. The sword is much better than the one we've been using. Just wander around for a bit. Guess we are we are looking for the ruins of the Golden Typhus. That's going to be our number one, our number one goal. Hail peasant. Okay, I could do with your help. Will you follow me? I'm sorry, friend. I can't lend my sword to just anyone. Only to those who have status with the Union. Just this once, you won't regret it. I'm sorry. Rules are rules. Now off with you. Okay. Well. Huh. What is this? Dorman turns you away. You need 25 charm to talk your way in. Door is shut tight. What is this place? The Might of Seven. Okay. These are God War machines, right? Map has been marked. I definitely want to keep an eye open for any of these landmarks. Ooh, there's like a watchtower. What is this place? Oh, it's the, this is the tree. Gained a leucosic bomb, okay. It's kind of neat. Villager, some sword, face faint. Please, some food, please. I guess they're starving, yeah. Where are we? Inquisition raid, brigand tower, bell tower, hollow town, rotten onions. I'm not seeing a Pygoth Shrine. I guess it, it would be valuable to just look around everywhere and kind of get the lay of the land down, so I'm not too concerned about this at the moment. We can definitely just walk around and see where it takes us. What is this? Gained a squirming godlet. Okay. This item needs to grow back. Do the squirming godlets grow back? OK. 
Okay, got a ton of lock picks. That's nice. Yes, and we got this first try. Oh fuck. Embrace delusion, increase. Oh, rusty bow. Bows allow you to fight from afar, balancing speed and martial ability to dictate the flow of combat from distance. This one's seen better days, though. One good twang and the string might break. Uh, we're definitely gonna want to upgrade that soon. Oh no, I didn't want to take that. Well, I needed to, so it's fine. And I have 90 arrows. Not bad. It's like hit scan, basically. It's really fast. That animation is really weird. I want to just see what happens when we fire it. Yeah, it is just hit scan. That's kind of a bummer, actually. <laughs> it's kind of weird. There we go. Won't be able to go up there because they haven't activated that lift. So this was fruitful. Give me it. Oh my god. There we go. Okay, three lock picks. There we go. Got in. Another delusion. Telescope. A fine invention allows users to see long distances. The magnification has been further enhanced by cipher inscriptions within the device. That's cool. Guile's absolutely getting increased, like, more than anything else, because it's, uh, really important to be able to access things, and lockpicks have been a hugely limiting factor. So we're definitely going to increase our guile a lot, especially now at the start, so that we just have access to things. Because that still, that basically allows us to complete quests and stuff in a way that we didn't before. Or we didn't have access to before. So it becomes pretty important to have. Uh, so that's the rusty thingy, or the wobbly noggin. I say the rusty noggin. That's not right. We should probably uh, re-talk to the guy to see where his ship fell. I don't remember. I need to get a better bearing of the land here. Figure out where we're going. So I don't remember. Four out of fourteen. I can just hold more lock picks. That's nice. All right. Should have slept until the day. That's fine though. <clears throat> I wasn't thinking about the time cycle. All right, north is that way. Just walk casually. I do you want to increase my spell casting? Okay, he's open always, probably because he's a quest giver, is my guess. It's 
south of Hallow. Okay, that's where I need to go. Okay, so we need to head south of Hallow in order to uh, find our way. So I think that's this way. Can I get in here? Oh yeah, we wanted to try this. There we go. Iron ore, okay, nice. It's helpful for us. Ooh. Hello. This is the rusty thing, isn't it? Boots look well-worn, friend. Don't suppose you've seen any spiky green shells around these parts. I'm looking to buy the tiny critters inside them. Godlets, they're called. Uh, what exactly is a godlet? You know, I ain't got a clue. She lets a raspy chuckle. All I know is both the Union and the Wiccans want them bad, and that means they're worth something. So bring me more of the critters, and I'll see you get a fair share of the profit. I have some godlets to sell. I knew I had the measure of your right. Let's see them. I'll give you a fair price and even put in a good word with some friends of mine. Take all the godlets I have. That'll do nicely, right? Then here's your pay. Keep them coming, and this could open doors for you, friend. Okay. How much money did that get me? Ah, uh, like 50. That's okay. The guards know about this place, but they turn a blind eye. Someone's in her pocket, lining their pockets for sure. Is this Inogen? It's the same girl from the docks, but her friendly disposition is gone. She eyes you with a cold stare. Inogen, right? Bardolf said you'd have more work for me. You made the delivery, huh? Not bad. When I saw you walking off with it, I was sure you'd get hung up in some prison by the end of the day. Those things are really illegal, you know? Anyway, Bardolf told me to give you another job, so speak to me again when you're ready. Nice. Bar keeps you to a glare. Welcome to the Lost Purse. Guards don't come down this way, so we sell items you won't find in more reputable establishments. Cause a ruckus or go yapping about what you see here and it won't end well for you. How come the guards don't know about this place? Oh, they know about us, all right, but let's say it's in their interest to turn a blind eye. We'll leave it there, friend. All right. Got some more stuff. Cosmos Cloak, a dark star dappled cloak that envelops a wearer in shadow, making you harder to spot. Woven from the thread of skin slugs... Or silk slugs, slugs uh, raised in special shrouded enclosures, which only allow them to look up the wheeling cosmos overhead. Oh, lockpicks, yes. It's interesting that they look different. More lockpicks, always good. Oh, need a six. Not going to get into that easily. I'll try a few more times. No. Well, I keep rolling really high. A. It's in here. Glorious treasure. Awesome. Now I will immediately sell it back to them, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what the value of this is. It seems like you can use treasure and alchemy, which is weird. I was friendly with this, in, uh, uh, this faction to gain entry. Ah, uh, and this is the other side of this door. Got it. Nice. All right, so I did find this. The sewer. Oh, which means that I can go back to that other spot, too. Let's see what you're selling. It really doesn't seem to be much. Uh, I can sell the glorious treasure. Why not, right? And let's sell the modest treasure. Just make some cash. There's still some places down in the main... I say the main area, the first area that I want to explore... I wasn't really able to give it to me please there we go we're getting it so worth it modest treasure nice aha I see so the merchants guild has a direct access to the sewers but also the thieves guild that's fascinating Okay, I would need to lockpick to get into these places. What is this? Traption seems to require a key. Let's go over here. Door is barred from the other side. Okay. Huh. Well, not much we can do about that. 
So we know we gotta go south from town. This is the Apostatic Union headquarters, I think. What's, over, what's up here? Must be friendly with this faction to gain entry. Nothing up here. Anything back here? Nope. Interesting. Okay. Um. Alright, let's reorient ourselves then. Because I want to go down out of town and face south so that I know which way to go find the Golden Typhus. Because I want to find the Golden Typhus before we do anything else. Seems like a fun little quest to go on, right? And then we'll just start knocking things out one at a time. So south is going to be this way. Ooh, there's chests down there that I can break. And, uh... My Pygoth. Cool. So we're definitely going to want to go this way. Let's find a... Yeah, let's find a sign to orient ourselves. And, yeah. So, south. It's going to be this way. Towards uh, the Pygoth Shrine, I guess, to find the Golden Typhus. Or was the Pygoth Shrine on the... Airstrides Island. I don't remember. Either way, headed south.